Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I'm going to be sorting out the rear hatch. Um, I've got a repair skin section here to replace and also a small repair section that goes on the bottom. So I'm going to start by welding this in.
think that seems to be fitting nicely. Got nice gaps all the way around, it's nice and flush. reflection I think I should have glued, put some um, adhesive behind these two flanges before I put the front on. Um, I think I might see whether I can prise this up, lift it up a bit, squeeze some glue in and then I can fold this lip over. Right, all I need to do now is put a few spot welds in just to hold it in place. Um, weld up the self-tapping holes and I also want to put some seam sealer as much as I can um, down this um, lap joint. Um, and then that's the tailgate finished.
bit of filler work to do on it, um, but I think it, it, it fits nicely. I might need to do a little bit of fettling around these corners when I eventually come to fit it, but now I want to sort the bumper and the two side caps out. Well, I'm going to start with the uh, front bumper. There's quite a few holes that need filling in. Some I can just do with the welder and others I'm going to have to make a patch for. And then there's quite a few holes on the top presumably where there were fog lamps fitted etc. Which I'm going to fill off, blank off. And then there's an area here which I'm going to have to put well the plate in. Putting a bit 
bit of fiberglass on the inner side behind the where they've got pinholes and they usually filler to fill the holes. Um, I could just replace them because these are only, I think these are about 40, 40 pounds each. But as I say, because they're not structural and they're just aesthetic, I think I'm just going to repair them with a bit of fiberglass and filler. So that's the next job. Right, well I've just had a, a better look at these, a closer look. And they're a lot rustier than I originally thought. Um, and I think it's going to be a false economy to try and repair them because the rust will come through again because there's a lot of rust in this lip at the bottom and both of them. Um, so the amount of time and effort it's going to take to repair them with a fiberglass and then fill them, rub them down, paint them, etc. You know, within 18 months, two years, the rust is going to come through again. So, I've decided I'm going to replace them with new. And I've been onto my usual supplier and I can get both of them with new seals and everything for, delivered for, I think it's 86 quid, pounds, British pounds. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll keep these anyway, just in case. I'll put them in storage. You never know when they'll come in handy, but I'm going to use new ones for, uh, um, for, for this project. So the next thing I want to do now is I want to get the vehicle back in here um, and then start trial fitting the side door, rear hatch and the bumper to make sure that all, they're going to fit properly and all the gaps are nice etc before I start prepping them for paint. Now I've got the bus back in the garage, first thing I want to do is test fit the rear hatch. nicely got a nice even gaps all the way round and it's nice and flush at the top and yeah that's fine what I'm going to do now though is I'm going to put the latch and the uh, catch on and see what it's like with those
Right, that fits nicely. The only issue I've got is that this corner there is knocked in a bit too far and that's, that's, that's down to when I was folding over the edge. The other side is fine, that's all nice and flush. So I'm just going to knock this corner out a bit. do that's more than good enough with the when the rubber seal is on it'll keep it cushioned out a bit more so all these lines match up nicely so yeah happy with that right before I get started on the side door I want to quickly test fit the front bumper and make sure it, I've got the holes in the right place nicely all the gaps are nice so that's going to be okay right well these are all the uh, components and latches locks and runners and hinges etc that go on the um, middle sliding door so what I want to do with these is I want to take them all to bits and give them a really good clean get rid of all the old oil grease everything up um, see what needs replacing, order them etc. So that's going to be the next job. Right, I'm going to start by giving everything a really good clean in, in some paraffin. So I'm just going to soak everything for an hour or so. These are all the bits and pieces all cleaned up. I need to now shot blast various bits and um, get them primed up. This bit is going to have to be painted in the um, actual colour of the car, the light blue. And then this bit, the aluminium bits, I'm going to bead blast those get them all clean up, get this bit painted black, etc. Make sure everything's um, oiled properly and then put it all back together and get it on the door. Right, with everything cleaned up, painted, etc. I need to put everything back together again now and get everything greased and then I can and oiled and then I can put it back on the door and get the door fitted. etc and rollers all sorted all cleaned up greased put back together again I've actually ordered a new um, runner bush this plastic thing here which should be arriving any minute now I'll test fit it with this one and when the new one arrives I'll put the new one on so next thing now is to get all of this onto the door and the van and then we can start trial fitting it
right, well I've got the door on and it fits okay. Uh, I've got a few issues with it. The major one being that there's too much of a gap at the bottom. Um, so I'm going to have to add some metal to the bottom of the door. And I think it's, that's happened because the repair section that I welded to the inner side of this door previously um, wasn't a very good quality piece. Um, so when I put the door skin on, I probably put the door skin uh, too high. I should have lowered it down a bit. But, but anyway, you know, we live and learn. So I'll get that sorted. I need to do a bit of profiling to the edge as well. Um, and the gaps, they're okay. Not too bad. There's a bit of an issue here, but I can sort that out when I uh, do the filler work on here before painting, so that's not a problem. So the next job is to take the door off and get that bottom edge sorted, but that's going to be in the next episode. So thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe and be safe and I'll see you next time.